Hey guys, it's Jack here. So in this video, I will review Ancient OS. But before getting started, let me share some details about the room. Ancient OS is a well-known custom room. It is also available for many devices. Also, the customization it provides is some of the different UI customization. So without wasting any time, let's check it out and let's see how does it works on our Redmi Note 7. The new UI of About Phone looks amazing to me as it is like Samsung experience or one UI. So the Xiaomi parts in this room is renamed to device settings where you can find your usual tweaks like display color calibration vibration strength and more. Megalith 11 is where you can find all of your customization. Many of you guys are concerned about hotspot working or not, so in this room it is working perfectly fine.
status bar also looks amazing with this new UI. So I have recorded this gameplay with stock kernel and as you can see the gameplay is quite good and there are some minor frame drops while screen recording. So you can play games without lag on medium settings as I am playing in this video. As you can see the benchmark results are quite good with stock kernel single core score is lower than the predator kernel while the multicore score is higher than the predator stormbreaker kernel although it is not a huge difference in cpu throttling test the obvious winner is predator stormbreaker kernel while keeping 95 percent of its max performance as compared to 84 percent which means that the predator stormbreaker kernel dropped to 95 percent from 100 percent and the stock kernel dropped to 84% from 100%. In terms of battery backup, Predator kernel is better than the stock kernel as you can see here. I only got 4 hours of screen on time while the Predator Stormbreaker gave me around 5 hours of screen on time. So I have used my device from 100 to 19% with stock kernel and from which I have watched some videos, played some games and kept my device idle for almost 9 hours. This usage is from Predator Stormbreaker kernel in which I have watched some videos, used some social media apps and played some game as well while keeping the device idle for almost 8 hours. So now let's have a look at the pros and cons of this robe. The overall UI of this room looks great and a bit different than other rooms. In this room I have faced some freezes in apps like MX Player, Instagram, WhatsApp and some other apps. This room is pretty good for gaming but while screen recording it does lags a little bit. So if you don't record while playing games then you can use this room for gaming. So the battery backup in this room is very bad with stock kernel. As you can see in the screenshot that I have shared before but it can be a problem for my device only. One more good thing in this room is that enabling magic hide fixes the CTS and a widevine is also L1 certified. So in the end should you flash it or not? Yes you should definitely give it a try but there are some bugs like whatsapp send button disappear and app freeze for like 5 or 6 seconds. Despite the bugs, this room can be used as a daily driver. If you face any problem with stock kernel, just flash any kernel which you like. Also this room is pretty stable for first beta release. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. on the